What's up little bitches, uh, Izzy Annie here, and today I thought I would make this video is the start of a new series I'm thinking of making, and what it is is where I take PC custom zombie map and do the easter eggs, and show you guys how to do the easter eggs, so tell me what you think about them and if I should carry on doing them, and, and um, enjoy the video, so thank you. Right, so first off, you want to get the power on. So what you do is you run straight for the middle of the map, and then you turn right, and as you can see, you can't actually purchase the power room door, so you've got to open it from somewhere else. So you turn around and go straight across here. There's a lot of doors here which I've already purchased to make the video shorter and easier to follow. But um, you just follow all the white arrows that point to the room, like any other zombie map would do. And once you get to this tower, there's not an actual switch. As you can see over here, there's the arrows are pointing on a little box. But you pay for the box and it buys the door for you. So you just head straight back to this across the same route you took. And as you can see, the door's opened now. And you go in. And there's a perk in here. And there's also the electric switch that is more recognisable than a little square. This is like a mini quest in the game and it'll give you some extra XP. You don't need to go in here and I advise you to skip if you suffer from epilepsy. But as you can see, this room makes you very disorientated. But luckily I know my way around in here and I don't find it that hard to go through. But you see this guy called Bob. You activate his quest and he tells you to go find a fish. But I'm just going to quickly show you how to get out of the maze just because my friends, when I play this map with them, they get lost and I have to go in and get them because I can see my way around fine. And but um, over here, I just wanted to quickly come over and say, I've learnt this little trick the hard way. If you fall down there, it'll restart the map. No matter what round you're on, it'll restart the map. It's kind of like a troll, so I just recommend don't do that, because me and my friend were on round 20, and we've restarted the map. So, where the fish is that you need to get is, funny enough, at spawn. And if you come in here, you can see it's right on the table. It It's not a complicated part at all, but... The payoff's pretty good. So you take it back to the bob. So you have to go through the maze again, which is not the most enjoyable thing in the world. So you go back through the maze, and I'm just going to show you again, just so you know you exactly where you're going, so you don't get lost. But you run up here, and you'll get a message on your screen saying you've completed the quest. And as you can see, generously rewards you with a hefty amount of points. Moving on to the end game easter egg, you come into the sport, uh, electric room again and you turn to the right and you'll see a part along with the map creator's youtube channel. So you take this part to the spawn with you, luckily I managed to teleport around the bleed, spawns me in the spawn. So you put the part on and then as you can see behind me on this totem thing there is the part has been laid there for me. So the other part is really easy to find, it's right near the spawn, you open this door, you turn left, open this one and you come in this room with a bunch of guns. Uh, unfortunately you can't pick the guns up, there's the sphere itself and tombstone's there but unfortunately you can't buy it. But you put this part on and I'm going to point out that you should wait, ten, it does recommend that you wait 10 seconds before placing each part on, but as you can see the sphere is there. The third and final part is by these electric panels and you turn right and go up this very long narrow bridge um other than the part there's nothing in the room up here other than an uzi on the wall so there's only reason to come up here once but as you can see there is a square sitting right on the toilet so you pick that up and you turn around and head back to spawn to put the part on And as you can see now, all parts are on the totem. Now as we head back down this corridor, as you can see the invisible barrier is not there now. But now there's the end game and it also says the price up there, so 8,000. So it's a very high price to get to on such a small map. But just before you go to the map, um, end the game, 
and I'm talking just before the you end the game, you should come back to the teleporter, which I haven't actually showed how to get to, but it's pretty easy. And you turn left and you see the Five Nights at Freddy character, and I want you to just shoot him. <laughs> 